Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, of course, I look at the creatures of being, and welcome back to another episode of the Quabbers. We're back playing some more porn games, where we're back playing some more porn games, playing Finding Miranda. <laughs> I know, I just kind of repeated that sentence, and I didn't even realize it. Um, so where we last left off, we finally had our first casual date, which, you know, ended up with sex. Porn. Anyway, so that was hot, you know, she's in leather and everything, I like that. So, on Sunday night, you're working on your computer when Miranda contacted you on Skype. We use Zoom now, FYI. <laughs> That's how old this game is. So, connect to her. Oh, she looks depressing. Mm. Miranda looks, oh yeah, yeah, Miranda looks terrible. Her hair is a mess and she appears to be in pain. Are you okay? Sorry to bother you, uh, Lucas, I'm just having a bad night. I'm sorry to hear that. Can I help? Well, talking to, uh, talking to me like this helps. Should I come over? No, it's okay. I just need a distraction. Without your eyes is, pro is providing a good one. Yay! Well, um, well, I see. <clears throat> I see the pain in your eyes. I'll uh, help in any way I can. She gives you a sm uh, small smile. Thank you, Lucas. Let's uh, make this uh, good for both of us. Want to play uh, strip? Uh, Want to play strip trivia? I like the sound of that, but you'll have to explain the rules. I feel like I'm gonna have to black all this out again. <laughs> I ask you a question about me. If you don't know the answer, you have to take off an article of clothing, and vice versa. You go first. <clears throat> okay. So uh, what's uh, what's my favorite color? She immediately answers purple. How did you know? With a smirk, she replies, Oh, a man comfortable with his ma masculinity would ri uh, ride a purple bike. Okay, your turn. What was my job before the coma? How am I supposed to know that? It seems that you don't understand how this game is played. I see that, but... What... Uh, what uh, I see that, but what did you do? It's like, I ran a small business. Lose a shirt, you take off your shirt. I was going to say, because you do know that, I don't even think she even told us, that's why, so it's kind of like cheating, but whatever, I digress. So, um, my turn. Which startup did I work for in my previous job? Uh, she starts taking off her shirt. That's worth an article of clothing. Which one? Uh, Infra, uh, was it Infinitech? Infinitech. Uh, I saw the eye. Oh, hey, okay, well, well, we have bra, we're fine. Surprised that she asked, really? That was before or after the uh, after they uh, bought out? I believe the I believe that answers that it will cost you another article of clothing. <laughs> she smiles. Okay, now we're gonna have to start blocking out. Uh, she smiles, reaches back, and unclasps the bra. Oh, you do know how to play the game. I was busy. I uh, it was before the buyout. Okay, yep, blacked out. Damn. She tosses the bra aside, which causes her wrist to wiggle a little bit. Okay, my turn. That's it? Okay, just went black. So the game progresses for a while before the two of you uh, hang up, and you go to bed. Okay, we're back to the next day. Uh, mo on Monday morning, you go and see Miranda at her office without looking up. She says, did you see the email from Mikhail? Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've been summoned to see you. Walk over together. She smiles. Oh, so now you're, uh, you'll cons consent to be seen with me. Um, when are you when you're around? I don't think people uh, people are actually uh, see me. The woman, the woman, the women certainly do. When she uh, when she gets up, uh, you struggle to not stare. Yeah, the outfits that she wears. Uh, that that that. Head bandana thing. She looks like a gypsy. I don't even know. But I'm like, wow, that outfit. I mean, don't get me wrong. The outfit's awesome and everything. But it doesn't seem like work appropriate. But if you're working for a multi-billion-dollar company, making stuff for them, I think you kind of get away with that. So, wow, that outfit scores high on the Miranda scale. You're surprised to learn that she doesn't know how uh, uh, know about the office rating system for her outfit. So you spend uh, you spend the the walk talking, uh, telling her about it. You moment mo momentarily worry that she'll be annoyed by people talking about her behind her back, but she laughs uh, out loud and gets a devilish look. Knowing her, she's probably forming a plan to increase her score for tomorrow's outfit. <laughs> Office productivity will un uh, undoubtedly take a hit. Wow. 
And what I'm wearing, I don't know, I look like a goddamn like a human bee. I look like a bumblebee. I mean, the matching shoes and matching shoes and shirt. Yeah, go for it. But uh, all yellow. Bumblebee. You enter the conference room and, and you take a seat. It's not uh, lost to each other that this is where Miranda stood up to Mikhail. She uh, doesn't let any apprehension show, but she sobered a bit. Lucas, thank you for last night. For what? Knowing a little about you that I had to get that, that I had to get naked and strip strip trivia strip trivia for. She gives you a oh my god that fucking word. Sluttery. Hang on. Hang on, maybe one more time. Of such deep sorrow. Actually, let me, let me boost up the volume. Whoops. Put it over here. So she she gives you a... Sultry. That's the... Damn it. There we go. So she gives you a look. Okay, yeah. For that, for that too. Completely forgot that the, the sound was coming out of the damn freaking computer, so I definitely messed everything up, so I do apologize for that. Then, the feeling is mutual. But, seriously, thank you for being there for me. It helped. Anytime, Miranda, I mean it. With a nod, she, uh, she says, I like that. Her voice trails off, and then she adds, so, do you think they'll call, uh, uh, they called us here to promote, promote or fire us? Uh, I suspect it's somewhere in between. Mikhail and the VP, uh, you realize that you don't know, know his name. Walk into the room. Quickly, Miranda says, I guess we're about to find out. Mikhail says, Miranda and Lucas, thank you for coming. Happy to. They both sit down and Mikhail says, my security my security guy tonight spent the, uh, the weekend going through the proposal you two provided. Did you find a problem? Mikhail replies, no, it's solid, very solid. But he looks over at the VP. In light of our previous mistake, we're not fully sure. The VP interrupts him, Miranda. What Mikhail is, is, is failing to ask is for, is for you to advise on the matter. Cautiously, she asks my advice Look towards Miranda. Now, let's save right here because it's you know, one of two options. So, the VP replies, I'm sure you kept things uh, about this over the uh, kept things about this over the weekend. Are the are there the, are there other holes that we haven't uh, considered? Uh, Miranda immediately re uh, replies, "I have extreme confidence that the hardening measures that Lucas invented, the guy's a genius." Well, it was a group effort. It was a group effort. I, I want to add. Miranda continues, "As for the other hole, no, I haven't fo found any. But I still th uh, think we should take another. Uh, we, sh we should take my early advice and get some." Black hats to try to try to break it. The VP nuts. Yeah, yeah. We started looking into that. I apologize, Miranda, for prejudging, uh, prejudging you, uh, <coughs> prejudging you based on your appearance. You, your individual, uh, individual individuality is an essential to this company. Smile, Miranda. I was gonna say, Mikhail definitely looks very sad about that. Taken, uh, taken aback by uh, his security, Miranda replies, Thank you, sir. The VP continues, I've spoken to our uh, se section heads. They decided to give the two of you the week off. You've earned it. Wow. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> the VP says, uh, Our pleasure, Lu as, like, our pleasure, Lucas, as, it, as he and Mikhail leave the room. Miranda looks at you with a smile. You wait for the door to close behind you before ta uh, talking to her. Nice job, Miranda. Thanks for the plug, too. <laughs> Bites her freaking head. <laughs> she waves off at you. You deserve it, but speaking of deserve, I am less than a person because I enjoy watching that bastard squirm. No, I think you're more of a person uh, for not over uh, over rubbing Mikhail's nose in it. I know you wanted to. Maybe bite your tongue or your hand. Oh. That's a one knuckle. I gotta do a two knuckle like that. Oh. That's more of a girl thing. Okay, so the both of you stand up. Say yes. We, as like with every fiber in my being. So, what are we gonna do with our with our time off? She looks. She looks over at you. Well, Mr. Sharp Dressed Man, there is no sharp dressing. I, I, Mr. Bumblebee, Mr. <laughs> Bumblebee. I don't suppose you have a tux, do you? I do. Miranda jo uh, jokingly sways. I 
all this and that uh, and that too i'm sure as i am sure do you uh, i'm sure you do know how how to pick them uh, yeah, 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 yeah. have you seen yourself in a mirror i'm doing pretty well uh, here too what's the plan you're going to go home and get and get that hop out of yours into that tux then meet me at the lobby of the el, el rey casino casino sounds fun on a monday Okay, cool. On Monday, I was gonna say on Monday morning we'll have a the place to herself. She shoos you away and slaps uh, your rear when you start when you turn around. You've got two hours. Go ahead. So go change and head to the casino. Bam. We're already there. We're only ten minutes in, so I feel like we're definitely burning through this game a little bit fast. So ah, whatever, but it is what it is. You just finished. Pay, uh, you just finished paying the cab uh, the cab fare when the other cab pull, uh, pulls up, and the door opens. Look at the women. <sighs> She's got super attractive legs. Of course, that's not her only attractive part. Watch her get out. Of course it's her. You saw, uh, saunter o uh, over to the cab. Miranda makes the show of looking, you, uh, of, looking, uh, of looking you up and down. Check out my man looking sharp in a tux. You could pass for James Bond. <laughs> well... You could pass for the trillion. You could, yeah. You could pass for a trillion dollars. Holy crap! Oh, yeah. She takes your arm and, uh, and takes her arm in hers and says, "Preciously the effort I was going for. Precisely the effort I was going for. Nailed it." And here's where things take a little bit of a turn. As you enter the lobby, the elevator doors open. Miranda Grin uh, grips your arm, stubbingly tense. Look at the people getting out of the elevator. Mm, you know, uh, the man is impeccably dressed and casts off in the air of importance. The woman behind him is strange. He notices Miranda and gives her a, ha a half smile. Continue towards them. In a voice that drips confidence, the man says, Hello, Miranda. A bit tense. Uh, t tensely, Miranda replies, Hello, Moreland. She nods at the strange woman behind him and adds, Crow. Miranda looks Crow over and adds, Morlin, your lapdog gets stranger by the day. He responds indifferently, She keeps me safe, and I'm sure you don't have a problem with that. You sense Miranda's tension starts to drain, and rep uh, she replies, Certainly not. Miranda, I assume you ha you're here. To flee my, my uh, to fleece my casino, of the funds again, you understand that even my great, uh, my generous ha has limits. Warning to the conversation, Miranda replies, "I assure you that I am as uh, I am well aware of the limits and know exactly how far I can push without crossing them." He gives her a tight smile. Yes, you do. I suppose I shouldn't be angry, since you undoubtedly learned the skill. You, you undoubtedly learned that skill from me. He turns to you, and who is this charming young man? You, uh, who is this charming young man you're with? Miranda introduces you. Morlin, this is Lucas. You reach out to shake his hand. Uh, pleasure to meet you, sir. He shakes your hand in with a firm grip. The pleasure is mine, Lucas. Miranda interjects. We will, uh, we will be interested to. You will be interested to know that the two of you are, uh, two of you have a connection. It's like, generally he asks, "Oh, really? And what with that?" It's like, "And what is that?" You don't know either. Miranda says, "I recently learned that Lucas used to work for." Oh, that's right. The company, uh, in, in a, uh, in a fee. Uh, I can't say that. Infinity, infinity. Infinity Tech, basically, that's what it's supposed to be. Used to work for Infinity Tech. Moreland nods towards you. Ah, then you used to work for me. Uh, this is this is this is news to you. So, Miranda says, actually, he pre uh, he predated you. He was the he was their start. He was yeah, he was their star programmer, the star programmer. But due to an unfortunate turn of circumstances, left the company. As a result, they missed their date and the uh, venue uh, uh, capital dried up. It could be said that Lucas is the reason that you were able to purchase the company so cheaply. 
Morden smiled devilishly. <laughs> then I believe a uh, thank you is in order. I hope you two find, uh, I hope you two have found a position in another company. Uh, yes, I work with Miranda now. Although his smile fades, he says, mm, Wonderful. The two of you seem to have a long history. I was a childhood friend of Moreland's daughter. I was at their mansion so often I suspect that he pra practically considered me as one of his own. Moreland glances outside as he says, A, a sedimentary which you abuse mercilessly. mercilessly. Bite your tongue. With a smile, Miranda says, Morlin, my dear, I learned that from you as well. <laughs> yes, I rather suspect you did. He turns towards the door. Well, I'm afraid I must take my leave. Lucas, I hope you enjoy your day at my casino. Uh, thank you, sir. I sure will. You and Miranda watch them head out to the, to, uh, to, to the waiting car. Miranda is clenching her teeth. Well... If I'm dressed like James Bond, that guy definitely looks like Vito Cornelius. Marina says, no. That evil bastard makes Vito, Cornel for Vito Cornelius look like an honest businessman. So why did we come to this casino? Crow turns around, looks directly at Miranda. She puts her two fingers in front of her mouth and makes that lewd enduring with her bl black tongue. Ugh. Black tongue? What the fuck is she eating? Miranda sighs, shakes her head, and looks at you, just to piss him off. Although Miranda doesn't seem surprised that Crow, Crow's behavior is unsettling, uh, unsettling you a bit. Ugh, really? Firmly, Miranda replies, really. Crow exaggerates uh, the swing, the, the by swinging her hips and saunters over the car. You push her out of the way of your mind. What was? That, uh, what, what was that about me being responsible for him buying uh, an Infinitech? Not responsible, dear. Maybe the victim, though. Surely you're not suggesting that he... She glances back at the door. With him, anything's possible. Well, that's kind of disturbing. Miranda says, enough about that. You know, seeing you uh, you dressed like this gives me an... O an Overriding desire to spend the day trying to speak in a sexy Russian spy accent. I've always wanted to be John, uh, John, J I've always wanted to be James Bond. Charming, if charming, if you please, Molly Penny. I don't know what James Bond is doing, but if I'm not mistaken, he's probably going to do the classic one, which is Sean Connery. Which I'll do my best Connery impersonation. In a heavy accent, Miranda gives you. My money penny, da vina snuska, money penny and bond flirt, but they never get together in the sheets. Mm, pleasure to me, it's a pleasure, Miss Zhukskak. My name is Bond, Lucas Bond. And the moment is ruined with Lucas. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bond, our countries have, see have seen fit to put, uh, put us together, but do you think I can trust you? Trust is earned, not mandated. Miss Sokolov, I hope that I can earn your trust. We'll see. First, we should get to know each other. Shall we gamble or drink? I know about. I, yeah. I know better than to attempt the out. The out drink a Russian woman. Can't do that. Uh, oh, sorry, can't try. I'm trying to do Sean Connery's accent. It's a little bit difficult sometimes. Russian bond. I know better than to attempt to outdrink a Russian woman. Smart. Do you play Bakra, Mr. Bond? I do. Miranda is surprised. She drops her accent for a second. You do? Well, I played on the internet. <laughs> I love what she just did. Like, wait, wait, really? You do? Well, I played on the internet. <laughs> she starts to walk away and returns to the Russian accent very well. I will try to wipe the. F I will try not to wipe the floor of it, you. Let's stare at the rear and see if we get any points, and we do! Yay! It would look good. It would look good in anything she wore, but this low-cut dress makes it really exciting. I'm sorry, but the leather one was even was, was even better. Since our uh, since our countries have been ensured that we work together, perhaps we should focus on beating the house rather than each other. 
She looks back at you and smiles. Acceptable. Let's enter the, enter the gambling area. You follow Miranda into the gambling area of the casino. Very few people here. I mean, it is a fucking Monday, so continue to follow her. Although there are a number of tables available, she heads straight towards the one with the broad looking female uh, counterpart. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Proper. I, I, just, I just call him a dealer. Uh, I guess they have different names. She's attractive and she's wearing a very extremely low cut, sexy outfit. She's idly flipping a chip between her fingers. Uh, I can kind of do that, but not really. I guess we'll need practice with that. <clears throat> Let me see if I can. When your date, <coughs> when your date sits down, the I'm just gonna call the dealer looks up and says, "Hi, Miranda." In a Russian accent, <laughs> she replies, "Night, Miranda. Today I am Velma uh, Zuka Zukovic, and this is Bon. Luke is Bon. <laughs> Charmed, of course." <laughs> My <laughs> the dealer gives Miranda a sad smile. Does that make? Does that make my boss uh, more? <laughs> Does that make my boss more? Moreland Blofeld seems about right. Yeah, it seem about right. Miranda smiles and continues her accent. Yes, we are. How you say? Investigate your boss. Let's continue. The dealer looks <laughs> longing at you. Well, if it means that I get to ogle your boyfriend, I'll play along. Miranda also looks uh, appreciatively at you. He's a like, he's a spy, not my boyfriend. Not boyfriend. If you get naked, if you get naked, it will get. I'm sorry. If you get naked, it will be a pump for information. Gober uh, uh, muses. Well, I'd like to get on uh, get on that pumping action. <laughs> Ladies, I have enough. In I have enough information to satisfy both of you. Now that worked. Okay, good. Miranda says, Da, Mr. Bond, your information is legendary, but the mission must come first. The dealer asks, What style of Baccarat are you pl are playing today? I actually have no idea how to play Baccarat. Three kings is a zero. You lose. Miranda, <laughs> because I was, remember what was that movie? Uh, uh, Brush Hour 3. Hit me. Uh, sir, this is Baccarat. I know where Baccarat when I say Baccarat now. Hit me. Three kings. Three kings is a zero. You lose. Miranda replies, We are uh, we are conspiring uh, we are conspiring against your Mr. Blofeld. Our cards face up. It seems that is like especially helpful since she's a better player than I am. It seems that Miss Z uh, Zognova doesn't. It seems that Miss Nova doesn't trust me. It's very hard doing switching back and forth to accents. I gotta stick to one accent, and then I gotta go back and do the other accent. That's the only way that I can. Uh, I can definitely do like a, a voice acting type of thing. It's very hard to just switch on the fly. Miranda gr grins. I trust no man with eyes. I could get lost in. To the uh, uh, dealer, she says, "Please deal with Harley." Oh, to, to, to the dealer, she says, Please deal, darling. The dealer leans forward a bit and prepares to deal. Oh, we can either do one or the other. Let me just see which one gives us points. But I think this one is... Might be okay. Yeah, a little bit. We, just only see, we, do, we don't see that much. We just see that, so... Even though she doesn't have much to reveal as Miranda, you appreciate the dealer's low-cut dress, so... <laughs> it is nice. So, the dealer deals the cards. You look up, you uh, and meaningful. The gentleman is showing us is, sh is showing a 69. Miranda says, the "Gentleman is luckier in other people than car. It's 69, very good in sheets. Yes, not good in baccarat. It seems I should hit. No, it is not. Are you suggesting that I should hit on the cards or try my luck?" in the other uh, uh, indoors. Miranda smiles. Heat on cards now. On the other indoors later. Hmm. Hit. No. It's hit on me. Yeah, apparently that one is. 
The dealer mutters, God, would I ever love to. <laughs> she gives you another card. It's a two. That doesn't let you beat either Miranda nor the house. Miranda says, Don't worry, darling. Maparasha has enough to cover Her Majesty's loss. Let's keep playing. You continue to play. You have managed to work the words. Shaken, not stirred. Really? That's it? You know the. You're not gonna go into the barkeep. Like, to the barkeep, I have a dry martini. Shaken, not stirred. Actually, uh, I think it's a vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. I, I think actually, I think it's both. A dried vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. Do I look like I give a damn? In the other conversation, when you have a cute waitress brings you the drink, Miranda is considerably better at the game than you are. Her stacks of chips are growing steadily as you as yours shrink. As she plays the flirty spy game, uh, uh, game, uh, game better than you do, though you resemble enough to keep both women at the table interested. And whenever she, whenever she says Miranda or Velma to whoever, she's clearly having a great time. She's clearly having a great time. She, she's even more beautiful when she smiles. Still, your luck runs dry. Miranda makes a comment about Englishmen and Baccarat as she gives you the uh, gives you a stack of chips to allow you to continue. Oh, how nice! But the over but but the prolong is inevitable. Miranda smiles and says, "Bust again, Mister Bond. No matter. I believe we have learned all that we have learned from Baccarat." Miranda slides three of. The more expensive chips to the dealer, continuing with her Russian accent, she says, A thief, darling. Thank you for playing along. The dealer blinks. Wow. Thanks, Miranda. Uh, Velma. Let's head to the cashier. As Miranda gives the chips to the cashier, he asks, A counter credit? Without using her Russian accent, she replies, Project Phoenix. He nods and, uh, he, he nods and hands her a receipt. Oh. Project Phoenix? She returns to the Russian accent and replies, It is an organization that helps the kind of people uh, the kind of people our Mr. Blofeld hurts. Wow, really? You don't keep any of your winnings? Miranda looks a little bit troubled, and her accent isn't as thick as she, uh, uh, as she says. Project Phoenix needs, winning, uh, needs more winnings than Miranda does. Shall I call you Velma, Miranda? Or, uh, right? Is it supposed to be Robin Hood? Oh no, no, it's a girl's name. Um, it is Robin. It is Robin Hood, but ro the girl version of Robin Hood is spelled with a Y instead of an I, unless it's a typo. I don't know. Her accent still uh, flat, uh, flattery and says, "Dress like this with m with those eyes, Mister Bond. Ca uh, can call me anything he wants." And we get there. And it gets. You lean in for the kiss, and she pulls you back in the, uh, on the marble uh, uh, bleh, bleh, column. Keep kissing. Miranda moans gently and wraps her legs around you and pulls your uh, pu pulls her body towards you. Keep kissing. As you come up for air, Miranda gives you a look that could start a fire. So what's next? Miranda looks at the spa door and glances over to make sure that no one's looking. She smiles and returns a heavy accent. Returns to the heavy accent. Spa's cl is closed and locked. Wonder what they'd be hiding. <laughs> Maybe towels? Hang on, let me just see. Nah, she didn't like that. Okay, so. Probably their secret plans. She pulls something out of her hair and. as the. So and she. Yeah. staggers towards the door. Get off of me. Uh, oh, so I'm doing. We're still doing the accents. Uh, what are you doing? Is it, uh, what, what are you gonna do? Or. Hang on, I gotta do more. I think it's his accent. What are you going to do? She crouches down by the door and starts to work on it. You're worried. Uh, you're worried. You look down the hall. You know how to pick a lock. You know how to pick locks. That's a soft. Uh, with a, there's a soft click, and she stands up. Is good. Good skill. Uh, is a good skill for spy. No. Oh, I'm still with the accent. Is good skill for spy. No. Go through the unlocked door before anyone notices you. Ooh, this is nice. You quickly sneak through the door and you look around to see that they keep the place uh, uh, running even though the, it's closed for, to the public. From behind, Miranda says in the heaviest accent, It is time, Mr. Bond, for you to give me information. What? 
I know it's information, but I've heard that before. You smile, uh, the perfect uh, line pops into your head. Do you expect me to talk? With a few steps in, you look down the hallway. Very fancy place. Miranda replies, No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. The sound's a bit ominous. Turn around, and bam! She's naked, and I block up, black all this out. You look back and find her that she is stripped out of her clothes and jewelry. She says, "You know the little death. You know the little death. How you say, orgasm." You go over to her. Miranda plasters herself against you, kissing you from uh, the pen desire. She ke- uh, taking your jacket off, tosses you onto the ground. Stumbles to the floor, keep kissing. Continue. Wow, she's fully naked. I'm just still got clothes on. Continue to kiss, and Miranda rips off the tie, pulls your shirt open. Continue to kiss. All right, here we go. Ten minutes. Forty friggin' minutes. Jesus Christ. And I think I'm also, you know, losing my score over here, which is not good. But I'm pretty much doing. I think I'm doing okay. I know, I'm, I think I might have missed some stuff. I think one of the things was you can actually do anal with her, but not yet. I think it's at the end of the game, but you have to initiate it in the beginning, and then it proceeds on to that. Okay, so next time on the Cooperator is going to continue with some more Finding Miranda, where we're going to the Elysium books. Or, I'm sorry, Else- Elysium's books. Or it's, it's Elsa's bookstore. Yeah. We'll see you next time. We're gonna reach from stars tonight